From the Center for Music Learning at the University of Texas at Austin, I'm Dr. Micah Killian here with some thoughts on practice. When was the last time you found yourself repeating a difficult passage during practice and felt frustrated that the same errors were reoccurring? Well, here's the thing. When practicing, you alone have the power to shape the error that occurs. Here at the Center for Music Learning at UT Austin, uh, we spend a lot of time watching and analyzing the practice of expert musicians, and it turns out that experts have a remarkably consistent response when they're confronted with a passage that they can't play the way they'd like to. They doableize it. Now, that's a word that Bob Duke and I made up, but the phenomenon is very real and entirely predictable given what is currently known about skill development. Rather than repeat a passage with lots of error, experts modify it, immediately turning it into a version of that passage that they can play as intended, and then build complexity and context from there. They turn undoable passages into doable ones. Now, there are lots of ways you can doableize. You can slow a passage down, play a smaller segment of a passage. You could change the register of a passage. You could reduce the coordination required to play the passage, like uh, you could do one hand piano instead of two hands. You can, uh, or you can simplify the articulation or the rhythmic patterns, things like that. Experts use these tools flexibly. And the happy outcome is that this process allows them to play music the way they think it should sound most of the time. This means they spend most of their practice time strengthening their habit of playing music beautifully and accurately. So the next time you confront an undoable passage of music in your practice, strengthen your habit of playing music precisely as you intend to and doableize it.